story that we are following an officer involved shooting that happened in the Mandarin area. Now the officer is not injured, but the suspect is dead. Now Troy Kless is in Mandarin. He has more on that situation. Troy. Thank you, Katie. The area here of Chesapeake Lane has been blocked off for the past four hours plus now after the officer involved shooting occurred here around 730 this morning. Police got a call from a woman saying that there was a man trying to commit suicide with a knife. Now, police say when they arrived and entered the home, the man was inside the doorway and police say they gave verbal commands to drop the knife, but the man raised it. He refused to put it down and police tried tasing the man. After that is when Officer B. L. Kelly fired his weapon one time. The victim was taken to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. Now, police say that the woman who called 911 was not involved in the who called 911. She was not in the home at the time the shooting occurred. We actually just spoke to a family member just within the past few minutes who identified the victim as Christopher Irvy. Um, she told us that he was uh, dealing with some um, mental health issues and was depressed and she feels that even in spite of what happened here, she feels that her brother could have gotten some help before the outcome of the shooting. So the uh, state attorney's office and police are out here investigating as well and we'll hope to get you more information on the victim uh, later tonight on First Coast News at 5 and 6. So we'll keep you updated on the latest once we learn more. But for now, we're live in Mandarin. Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.